the narrative or narrative essay, excuse me, the narrative essay or the memoir is a story that makes a point. All of the things that you use to tell the story contribute in some way to that point. We have a sequence of events, a plot that establishes the relationship between them, a setting, and characters. But ultimately, the story, the body of the essay, is used to make a point. And with your memoir, that point is stated in the thesis statement, excuse me, that point is stated in the thesis, a statement that comes at the end of the introduction, the last sentence of the introduction, and tells the reader what the controlling idea of the paper is going to be. What's the story about? Notice the relationship is always back to the thesis. And then the conclusion is the insight that we gained. Your textbook tells you that a memoir may not have a thesis, that it may be implied or there may simply be a theme, but for our purposes, a thesis is required. That thesis is developed further in the conclusion. We think in terms of insight. What did you learn? What do you understand about yourself, about others, about the world, about your relationship to it. That is the point of your story, and that's a part of what you do when you write the essay, is discover exactly what your story means. The memoir, like all writing, is not only a creative act, but it is also a process of self-discovery. The planning example that I give is about my learning to drive. When I initially told the story, it was a story about my dad's philosophy of life, do the hard thing first, and how his approach to teaching affected those around him, in this case, my mom. However, I came to realize that the story represented something much deeper about my dad and about me. He trusted me and my ability to react logically with common sense. And I realized that the trust he routinely placed in me was foundational to who I am as a person. As you tell your story, even one that you perhaps have told before, think about what you learned and shared that insight in the conclusion. You can see my example. I'm going to talk to you more about the process of planning, which will be the same as the process was on our outline, but I want you to look at what I've done. My topic was learning to drive, and my thesis statement is that I learned more than how to drive a vehicle. Uh, I planned in a couple of ways. My sequence of events, the fact that I'm telling the story from the first person point of view, my setting, I'm in a manual transmission pickup truck on a dirt road, the characters, my dad, my mom and I were in the truck, and my dialogue is who says what. My question as I began to drive was, when I stop, do I use the clutch or the brake first? To which my dad replied, what do you think? Our conversation continued as we were fast approaching the intersection and my mom was becoming increasingly more distressed because my dad wouldn't answer me. The sensory detail that I include to help the experience is where I am, uh, I put this in the country on a, on a dirt road because that's where it took place. And I tell you what's around me. But I mention this only briefly because the thing that's most important about the setting is the length of the road and the fact that there's a blind intersection that we're approaching. The point of my story, my insight. And then the last thing I do is briefly tell the story. Obviously, when I develop it for the body of my paper, I'm going to include more detail and I'm going to include the dialogue to help advance the story. But basically, in the last item, I tell the story 
in brief form. So when I finish my paper, I'm going to look for these elements, an introduction with a hook, a thesis, that my body tells a point that develops the thesis statement, that I have taken my reader through the chronology of events and helped address causality, why things happened. I'm going to leave out anything that's not necessary to advancing the story. I include only those characters who contribute, but I let them speak. And my resolution is how I resolve the conflict or the situation, which is always present in a story. And I try to make sense. I may react to change. I may adjust to a situation. But then ultimately, I want to come to the point of what I gained or what I learned and what I want the reader to understand about my story and ultimately about me.